What's up everyone, Alex here with Concrete Games, and today we're going to make a weight tree. So a weight tree is just something used to hold and organize plate weights, or barbell weights. So the one we're making is going to be about 30 inches tall, it's going to be able to hold over a thousand pounds of weight easily, and it's going to be made in such a way that when we put the plates on and off the pegs, that they don't hit each other or slide into each other, so it's all spaced out equally. It's being made for 45s, 25s, 10s, and 5s. So here are the things that we need. We got our chop saw again, that's gonna come in real handy. We have our uh, power drill with a T25 bit with wood screws, our basic hand tools. We got some drill bits here to drill into the wood. Uh, we're gonna use these concrete steel spikes or stakes. This is hardened steel that's gonna be the pegs to actually hold the plates. And then some extra things we got here is this angle grinder. And that's gonna be used to cut the steel spikes with a metal blade. And I really recommend that as opposed to you could use a sawzall with a metal blade or even a hacksaw, but that's gonna take a really long time. So the angle grinder is a good thing to have extra. Uh, two other things is this spade mixer that's gonna make drilling into the wood a lot easier because it's a more powerful drill. And then this oscillator tool is gonna allow me to cut the wood in some hard to reach places so that it fits better together. So if you like the idea of making this weight tree, if you're in the right place, let's get into this. So to start off with two by four wood here, this is just studs, so as we call them. They're 96 inches, eight foot. All we're gonna do is take two whole studs and we're gonna chop them into 32 inch pieces. So we get six 32 inch pieces total. So we have our six pieces of two by four material, 32 inches each. Two of the pieces are gonna be crossed at the bottom and that's gonna be our base. These next four pieces are going to fit around the base in a pyramid. So what I'm gonna do right now is find the halfway point of my two foundation pieces and I'm going to cut away half of the material, the width of the other stud and what we're gonna do is fit them in together so that they, they fit snugly in a, in a pocket of themselves. So first, I'm gonna measure 16 inches in on both of them. That's the halfway point. And then I'm going to take the width of the stud, which is three and a half inches, and I'm going to draw an inch and three quarters on either side of the 16 inch mark and put a mark there. And that is going to be the width of a two by four that I'm going to cut out of each of the two by fours. So once I have these marks, I'm gonna take it to the chop saw and I'm going to cut at those side marks halfway into the stud. So I went halfway into the thickness of the stud widthwise. So now I have to remove this chunk of wood. So this is where the oscillator comes in handy because I can easily get in here with this tiny little saw blade and take out this chunk of wood selectively without messing up the rest of the wood piece. The other method is to use a hammer and a sharp chisel and tap out this chunk of wood to remove it. That is what it should look like after you're done. All right, so once you've finished cutting each of the chunks of wood out for both pieces, you can lay one flat on the table, then take the other one and place it on top of the other cut, and it should fit together kind of like a puzzle piece. So that is what your foundation piece should look like. All right, so the next step is we're gonna take two of our other pieces that we cut, and we're gonna cut both of the ends of both pieces at 31.6 degrees. So this is what we should have as of right now. Both of these pieces have both of their ends cut at 31.6 degrees. It's really important that when you're cutting them, 
you're not taking off any of the total length. So from long point to long point, this piece is still 32 inches. All right, next step is we have our foundation piece right here, our two other struts. We're gonna align them up an A-frame style, but we need a little piece at the very top to connect them, and that's where this thing comes in. This is the same degree cut angle, but it is three and a half inches from long point to long point. So this is the only other piece of wood that we're gonna use for this, and it's gonna go right at the very top. So the easiest way to start piecing this all together is to connect the big struts with the little piece together first, and then attach it to the foundation. Another thing before we begin, we're gonna to want to drill pilot holes for this because this is a really small piece and I don't wanna risk it splitting when I stick this big wood screw in it. All right, once you have these pieces attached like this, then you can attach it to the foundation. All right, for the next two pieces, we're gonna cut again the bottoms at the same 31.6 degree angle, and that's gonna hit the foundations. But then we do that down there, we're gonna have a different angle where it meets at our top piece up here, and that's gonna be about 58 degrees. It's a really steep angle. And on most chop saws, it only goes up to 45 degrees. So how are we gonna cut this? So the way that I would do it is take a speed square, place it on the fence of the chop saw, and then that's already 45 degrees when we put our block of wood alongside of the angle part of the speed square. And then we need an extra 18 degrees past 45. So I'm gonna set the angle indicator at 18 degrees and then put the piece of wood on the back side of the speed square. So be careful doing that because it's really unstable when you do that and it's just hard to make angles like this but for this project it's the best way to do it. So now that I have both of my new pieces, the bottoms at 31.6 and the top pieces at 58 degrees, I can put it all together. Now what we have to do is drill holes at the correct heights for each of these planks so that we can put our pegs to hold the weight. One side will hold 45s and 25s and same thing on its opposing side and then the other two sides are going to hold 45s and either 10s or 5s above them. So the height designations for the pegs should be on one side 9 inches high and 25 and a half inches high and then repeated on the opposite side. Then I'm going to flip this 90 degrees and I'm going to focus on these two opposite ends and the height for the pegs for these ends is going to be 11 inches and 27 inches. Alright, so we're ready to drill our holes now for the pegs. So I'm using the spade mixer because it's just a beast. spikes. Now I'm going to take another kind of finishing blade. This is a metal grinding blade and I'm just going to rough down, smooth down um, the rough edges. Okay, so we have all of our pegs ready. Now it's time to finally install them into the frame. Depending on what size spike you get, they're different sizes slightly, so you might need to adjust the size of your hole so that your peg will fit in nice and snug. And if it's still really loose, then what you can do is put a screw through the screw holes into the wood and through the peg itself and that way it's going to be extra secure. All right all the pegs are in place so let's go test this thing out and put some plates on it. All right guys I hope that helps. I hope you got some good ideas of how to make your own weight tree. If you're wanting to know how to make these plates, go check out my other videos. I got an ebook too with all the dimensions and measurements and step-by-step -step processes that you need to know how to do that. I'll put it in the description section. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know the drill. Go get those gains, bless y'all.